everyone, today we're going to do this fun and bright tribal tiger look using Krivelin's Luna Rainbow Cake. To start this design, I'm going to load up my half circle black Krivelin sponge with some Krivelin creamy white and I'm going to paint the top lip and all the way up to the bottom of the nose. And then I'm going to use the white and go from the inner corner of the eyes out to the sides of the forehead and an angle on both sides. Next, I'll give my sponge about seven or eight spritzes of water and load it across the rainbow cake. And then with the lightest color, which in this case is that bright yellow neon, I'm gonna start and pat out. And when I get to the edges of the white, I'm only gonna be using just the edge of my sponge in order to keep a nice straight line. At this point, it's totally okay if it's not perfect around the eyes or around the edges because most of that is gonna get covered up with line work. I decided I wanted this to be more of a fantasy tiger look, so I'm taking some of the blue back into my hairline. Next, using a small petal shaped sponge, I'm going to load up the green, the teal, and the blue, and then use one of my boost stencils in an animal print in order to make a multicolored effect over the white area of the eyes. And for all of the line work in this design, I'm going to be using Krivlin Regular Black and a number one Low Cornell round brush. So I'm just going to pull down a sharp point from the inner corner of the eye and then swoop it up over the eyelid and out like a cat eye shape. And you'll notice from the outer corner, I've just pulled a U shape up and then I'm pulling a curved line down around and then I'll add a U shape at the end of the line. And then I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. So just pull down that sharp point from the inner corner and then swoop it up like a cat eye. Add a U to the tip of that cat eye. Pull down a curved line on the cheekbone and add a U shape at the end and then fill it in. Next, I'll come in and line underneath the eye. If I were doing this design on a small child, I would not line under the eye. It's too uncomfortable for them. But for me, for an adult or um, an older child, it should be fine. So next, I'm just gonna pull down a V shape and then fill in the inner edge a little bit to give it that tribal look right there. And I'll do the same thing on both sides. So for the nose, I'm just going to flick up a small line in the center and then flick up two curved lines on either side and fill in the underside of the nose. And you can see in just a second in my attempt to kind of even it out and make it more symmetrical, I brought the black up a little bit too high and it made it look more like a fox or a dog nose. So that's not going to work. So I'll show you what I'll do. I'm just going to spritz the end of my sponge, a clean sponge, and just swipe down and wipe it right off and then I'll fill it back in with a little more of that neon yellow. And while the neon yellow is drying, I'm just gonna go in with a number one brush and some more of that Krivlin Black, and I'll pull a straight line down the center of my forehead, and I'm gonna use that in order to build my design. I'm gonna attempt to make the, the lines on each side somewhat symmetrical. So I'm just making them pretty thin to start out with, and then I'll come back in and start filling them in a little bit more with more of the black. So to make this more of a tribal look, I'm just going to curve it in and then fill it in to make lots of U-shapes and connecting lines. So I'm going to keep going in. Now I've switched to a number one liner brush just for a smaller detail brush. And I'm going to create some little U shapes and fill them in there and just connect those lines together. And I'll swoop up two more curved lines coming in. And then from the outer corner of the eye, I'm going to start doing some tribal sweeping up over the white section. So it's just a curved line coming in with a C shape on the end and then a U shape connected to that. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. You can see I'm switching from one side to the other on each section of these elements so that I can sort of get them symmetrical instead of doing all of one side and then all of the other. That seems to help me when I'm doing tribal designs like this. So now that my nose is dry, I'm gonna go back in with that number one liner brush and just flick up the lines and I'm gonna keep it low. 
and then I'll split the lip. So just come straight down from the center of the bottom of the nose. And then I'll pull up some curved lines around the edges and then I'll outline the muzzle area. So between the white and the blue. So since I had so much other line work, I'm just gonna keep the edges of this design very simple. So it's just a line going up the side of the cheekbones and then a thinner line. And then I connected the two with two small U shapes to give it that tribal feel. And I felt like I had a little bit of a blank area up there near the top. So I'm just curving a line in and making it sharp on both ends. And then I'll come in and make a U shape and then fill it in just the same way I did on the other lines in the design. So next for some dots in the design, I'm using a number five round brush so I can get some really nice dots and just anywhere I feel like there's an empty spot or that could use a little bit of accenting, I'm gonna go in and make a series of dots. I try to do my dots in odd numbers, so threes or fives or sevens. So there's three coming up there and then a few more coming down there. And next I felt like those lines up the top needed a little bit more connecting as well. So I'm just going in and adding some more C shapes and filling them in. Next for the lips, I'm gonna use Krivelin's Marble Blue. This is a gorgeous metallic color and then I'll fill it in with a little bit of Acroglow cosmetic glitter and iridescent blue fairy wing. So using the number one liner brush I'm just going to come in and paint in the muzzle stripes so I'm just pulling the brush in and making thin little lines facing in toward that center line in the lip. And next I'm going to use some of the neon yellow again on a number five round brush to go in and make a few accent dots on top of the black line work. And then I'll give myself some tiger hair and that's it. That's the finished look. I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment below and subscribe.